You know what I hear? I hear the clock ticking. Time waits for no man. Life goes by. What's that? Quick, quick photo? You gotta work, boy. You gotta work. Everybody else put in work. Let's go. I will not be outdone. I will not be outworked. Sure. I'm an ordinary person, but I focused on my craft. I had a burning desire to be excellent. I love what I do. Sharing in my books and speaking is my oxygen, is my DNA. Are being influenced by a lot of influencers who are using PEDs. And they are like, oh, this is the fastest way you can build, but. There's the word right there. The fastest way. Yeah, yeah. Take your time, real slow. Let it happen. You decide today that you will no longer tolerate losing. You are going to be a winner. Be the hero of your own movie. If your life was a movie and it started now, what would the hero of your life's movie I'm telling you, this man trains very hard. We have our moments where we like to play around with each other. Now we're about business. So when it's time for business, we're on business. If you grind on Monday, and you grind on Tuesday, and you grind on Wednesday, but you chill on Thursday, and you chill on Friday, and they grind on Thursday, and they grind on Friday, so don't let it go catch you. So every kid in America that tell me they're coming for me, you're going to work hard for me. Because I'm going to find out what the benchmarks are, I'm going to reach the benchmarks, and I'm going to You will not outwork me! I'm going to cry, I'm going to fight, I'm going to work, I'm going to press forward. I'm going to do everything in my power, every single day, to become a victor and not a victim. This is the part where life demands that you make a vow, compel or high quarter that you're willing to pay the price, where you earn your spot with effort, with sweat, with blood, with tears. It's time to test your will, your endurance, your heart, to test your limits. You don't punish yourself, it's never gonna happen. You don't punish yourself, somebody say, hey, you're losing weight. I punish myself. I don't eat meat no more, that's a punch. I had to give something else to go up. When do you give up? Do you not watch TV? That's your problem. You get to watch TV and not make money and still survive. The reason why you broke is because you get no reward and you ain't working. You gotta stop playing. Mostly what happens is when everything is favorable, you're a beast. But when the conditions ain't right, you get smacked in the face. You gotta grow up. You gotta be a morning person, afternoon person, night person. You gotta be when you feel good person, when you sick person, when you tired person. And you don't get here by quitting when you tired. You get here by quitting when you finish, when you're done. You don't stop when you're tired. You stop when you're done. You stop when you're completed, when you execute. Execution is worship. Greatness is in you. But the problem is, somebody gotta push you. The problem is, somebody gotta give you a reward. Somebody gotta fight. The problem is, you're not self-motivated. You have to stay in beast mode. And so I'm looking at the clock, and I'm saying, technically, you can go back to sleep. Technically. But Eric Thomas, if you go back to sleep, you might not wake up at 30. You might not wake up at 4 o'clock. If you wake up at 4 o'clock, Eric, for 30 minutes of sleep, you might be pushing your goals back a week. You might be pushing your goals back a month. You might be pushing your goals back an entire year by seeing it for two hours because you missed an opportunity. What do you do when somebody's not there watching you? What do you do when you have to either do what it is you know you're supposed to do or you get to take the play? Because no one's going to know the difference. Because it's really easy for anybody to come to work on the days they feel like killing it and killing it. But what happens on the days that you don't feel like killing it? What happens on the days that you don't feel like getting out of bed? Because those are the days that are going to define where you end up in your life. There's another kind of instinct that you need to be on the lookout for. And this one is a liar. This one is a saboteur. This one is a backbiter. This is the instinct that says, you've had enough. You've given it your best shot. You can stand down. You can back off. You can rest now. Do not listen to that instinct. Do not listen. And that is the instinct you need to fight. You need to push back, to smash into the ground. Train that instinct. Train it to say, 
get up, go, fight on. You can't stick to something for five fucking days. You deserve to have a shitty life. You deserve to get your ass kicked. You deserve to be miserable. We're not talking about 50 years. We're not talking about the five years it probably takes to build something worthwhile. We're not talking about the five months it could take for you to lose 100 pounds. We're talking about five fucking days. And you can't even stick to it for that. So what the fuck do you think you deserve? You deserve exactly what you want. Think about all the people that say, man, one day if I have this, I'm gonna do this. What do you mean if you have this? Why don't you go out and make it happen? Comfort zone is dangerous. When you're comfortable, you are at most danger. You should never feel comfortable. You should be happy and dissatisfied. Man, anybody ever tell you, hey, look, you know what? Just be satisfied with what you got. Don't believe it. Get away from it. Never be satisfied with what you got. Because the attempt to get more makes you into something better. All the time. You should throw away your business. Triple it. I don't negotiate with myself. I don't go, oh, wait, I'm not ready. I only count to ten. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow. I'm not actually I say it with you. I'm not here to discuss this shit with my mind. But when I say jump, you think you jump. Because when you get your blood pushing, when you push beyond what's comfortable, it develops this determination inside you, this sense of will. And when you do that regularly, you're gonna have a different world. Do right now. Do that. Do those things. Write down your goals. Write down things you want to improve. Write down things you won't tolerate from yourself. Write down things you've done in the past you never want to see yourself do again. And go through from here as the hero of your own movie. Every day is a new day of your life. Shot at life. An opportunity to come out of the game like a man possessed and attack the day without mercy. Today, I'm taking scouts. I'm putting pressure on. I am the aggressor. I am on the attack. Because I will not stop. Success is like a quiet daily set of tasks. Real, real small. It's like that quiet walk to the gym. Some empty ass gym late at night. Over and over and over. Or as I sit there studying other great people and then comparing it with what I'm doing with me. Over and over and over. Doing 20 minutes of quiet meditation a day. Over and over and over. Making the choice to eat foods that enhance my brain neurotransmitters. Over and over and over. It's a very quiet process where you're just drawing your state from within yourself, doing these like simple little tasks and finding love in those simple little tasks. It's not this big rah-rah speech where you do this one thing and something big happens. When we look at the leading sales professionals of the world, when we look at the best business people, they say she's gifted, she's smarter than me, she just somehow knows more than me, she's got a better education, she had an easier background, she got lucky. You've heard the cliche because it's true. The harder I work, the luckier I get. Lift the weights, sprint the hill, get out of bed, get things done. In my simply going through the motions, you stayed on the righteous path, the disciplined path, which is right where you know what you belong.